Hello and welcome to weekly worship from Alconbury Weald Church. My name is Reverend Rob Patterson and I shall be leading our time of worship together. Now if you have a candle, uh, now's a good time to light it, um, but also if you like to listen to a song or music to begin this service, then there is a link uh, below in the further information uh, for Song 1, So Will I by Hillsong. So if you want to click that link, but also during that time, light a candle, that would be brilliant. And I'll light the church candle at the same time. Okay, so pause me and have a listen to that song. Okay, welcome back. And now just to introduce our theme. Our theme today is we're continuing um, the theme of Jesus' parables. And we've got a little interlude between um, weeds and uh, wheat and fig trees and fruit. Uh, and before we move on to sheep and shepherds and goats, we have a little interlude of the fishing net. So just one parable here. So we're going to look at that from Matthew 13. Here's just a couple of opening uh, quotes from that reading as we begin our service. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like. Jesus said, the angels will come and separate the wicked from among the righteous. Let's have our opening prayer, so let's pray. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful people and kindle in them the warmth of your love. Amen. Okay, we come to our first uh, activity, um, and there's another link, uh, video link to click to click here in the further information. Uh, this is because we're going to do a bit of macrame, uh, and uh, there's instructions there. It begins at. Um, you might get an advert, by the way, but it, after that, you can skip it, and you click on and the, this um, video instruction. And it's the first um, knot we're going to be learning how to do. And that begins about 10 seconds into the clip. So you don't have to wait long to wait. She just introduces uh, what we're going to be doing. And it's really just have a bit of fun learning how to tie that knot. Um, and if you really want to, you could do the next one along as well. So just have a bit of time with macrame uh, and just um, yeah, having that feel for moving the, the string around. You could do it with um, string. Uh, wool, obviously there's proper um, macrame string that you could use if you happen to have that, but just for this little exercise, some string or some wool uh, would do, or any other kind of cord I think would do, just for this little practice. So have a go at that, uh, pause me, and come back in a moment. Well, I hope you had a bit of fun there. Um, you might have experienced what I experienced in that I watched the video and thought, wow, that's really easy. And then I actually tried it and thought, what did she do? How did she do that? I've forgotten already. And yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. But once you get it, actually, it's quite, uh, um, yeah, it just it's quite fun to do uh, um, and stilling in many ways. Anyway, why did I get you to do a bit of macrame? Well, because uh, in the parable that we're doing, the fishing net, um, Jesus describes the fisherman casting this dragnet into the Sea of Galilee. So we were just sort of thinking about fishing nets. So we weren't going to try and make one, but just doing sort of knots, imagining uh, a fishing net and the cord and that is in fishing nets. Now, the fishing net in the parable is a dragnet, and this catches pretty much everything in its path. Um, so here's a question for you. How many types of fish do you think there are in the Sea of Galilee? How many types of fish? What's that? Oh, I think you guessed too many there. I think you should be a bit lower. Yeah, it's between 20 and 30. 24, that's what I read anyway. 24 fish types in the Sea of Galilee. So anyway, we were just having macrame to kind of think about fishing nets and the cords, knots and things. Okay, now's our time to say, sorry, God. Our Lord Jesus said, love the Lord your God and love your neighbour as well as you do yourself. Now, sometimes we don't act very wisely. We have a habit of overthinking things, perhaps. Uh, we overworry about things, and uh, we forget to lift up our concerns, decisions in life, and worries to God 
In other words, we do sometimes tie ourselves up in knots. So just take a moment now to reflect over the last week or so and think of any of your recent concerns, decisions in life's life and worries, the things that have perhaps tied you or given you a bit of a knot uh, experience, maybe a knot in your stomach, kind of that kind of anxiety. Just uh, take a moment to reflect on those. And now let us give those reflections into God's forgiveness and commit to try and turn to be more readily, to turn more readily to him uh, in the future in our daily, bringing him our daily concerns, decisions and worries in the coming week. So repeat after me. We are sorry, God. We are sorry, God. Forgive us and renew us. Forgive us and renew us. May God, our Father, forgive you your trespasses and bring healing, reconciliation and peace to your life. Amen. And now our Bible reading. Let's pray. We worship with Christians near and far, old and young. God's word is for all of us. May it be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Amen. And our Bible reading is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 13, verses 47 to 49. Jesus said, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that was cast into the sea and gathered some fish of every kind, which, when it was filled, fishermen drew up on the beach. They sat down and gathered the good into containers, but the bad they threw away. So will it be in the end of the world. The angels will come and separate the wicked from among the righteous, and will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Okay, so we come to our time of reflection. To think a little bit more about that uh, reading. So I wonder if you can find anything in the house where there's a bit of a jumble of things, uh, odds and ends, um, and maybe uh, just spend a little bit of time sorting them out. I don't know how you're going to sort them out. You might want to sort them into colours or sizes or shapes uh, or uses, but think of a way of sorting them out and just spend some time sorting something out. Okay, so pause me and go sorting. Welcome back. Now, as I was saying earlier, the dragnet catches everything in its path. So it catches the edible and the non-edible fish. It catches the saleable fish and the non-saleable fish. And Jewish law, edible fish were the fish that had scales and fins only. So you can imagine why they had to sort out the fish and throw back the ones, I'd imagine, that weren't edible or saleable. So, and the way they sorted things, that was why we did a bit of sorting, just to get into that feel of sorting things out. Now, Paula Gooder raises these universal questions in relation to the meaning of this parable. Why does evil exist alongside good? Why, when good grows, does evil flourish too? So those questions were, um, why does evil exist alongside good? And why, when good grows, does evil flourish too? The parable seems to suggest an answer. And that answer is because it does. 
good exists alongside bad, but it will not always be that way. It is how the world is at the moment, but it will not be like that always and forever. As Paul Oguda says, fish all swim together in the Sea of Galilee. The parable gives us reassurance and gives us warning of future separation. But it also kind of points out that the job of separation is not ours. Let's affirm our faith by saying these words if you repeat after me. We believe in God. We believe in God. We believe in Jesus. We believe in Jesus. We believe in the Holy Spirit. We believe in the Holy Spirit. We can live in a way that reminds people of God. We can live in a way that reminds people of God. Because we love each other. Because we love each other. Amen. Amen. Now as a final reflection on our reading, and this is from Paul Gooder, who advises, we need to learn to live with the reality that evil does exist in the world we live in and will continue to do so until the great future sought out. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for your teaching and our learning. Help us to wonder at Jesus' parables and what they teach us about living in the world today. Help us to live wisely in complex and confusing times, so that out of our faith in your word, we may bear good fruit in our everyday lives and in everyday places. Amen. We pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And just before we end, just to highlight the charity of the week, uh, this week uh, you might want to respond to the Afghanistan emergency. And there's an Afghanistan emergency appeal uh, run and uh, being set up by Tear Fund. I mean, there's many other charities you could support uh, in response to what's been going on in Afghanistan as well. Um, but there's a link in the further information below for the Tear Fund campaign. And then also just to say, if you want to share something now, or break some food um, or something, um, we had crumpets. Um, I think probably should have had waffles that would look more like fishing nets. But, you know, use your imagination. Just, just break something and share it. It's kind of having that feast together. Um, even if you're on your own, it's good just to break and, and just eat something and know that um, we're doing that together, although be it virtually. And now our ending prayer and blessing, um, but also there is a, a song to finish off with called Build My Life, uh, by Haley, or sung by Haley Bischoff. Um, and, um, and there's a link at the end of in the further information, so song two. So our prayer. May Jesus, the light of the world, shine upon you scattering the darkness from before your path. During your week, may your love overflow into everyday activities. Amen. May God bless us all. May God bless us all. Amen. Thank you for worshipping with me. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>